Hey everyone, it's Chainfire9001 here, and it's time to continue with our Lunar Magic tutorial. Last time we took level 105 and we turned it into this, all of this. So we are going to try to make this level a bit more interesting and a bit more complex, and a good way to do that is to add some screen exits and some pipes and go to other levels and come back and do all that kind of stuff. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an object and we're going to add a pipe. So it's going to be vertical pipe end on top and I'm going to choose exit enabled and I'm going to put that in right there and I'm going to click on save. First thing you'll notice is this error message it says undefined exits detected. What it tells you is that there's an exit there's an exit enabled object either a pipe or a door but it hasn't been set to exit anywhere which is bad but in any case we'll, we'll click OK and uh, what will end up happening if you play a level that is uh, set up like that is you'll go down the pipe and it'll send you to level zero by default which is the bonus room when you collect a hundred stars from the gold tape and whatever and the problem with that is you'll have no way to exit that level and it ends up being sort of a death trap but in any case um, one thing that's good to do if you're gonna start making exits is if you click on F1 or if you go up to view and press uh, screen exits here. I've already done it. And you'll see the screen gets divided, the level gets divided into screens with the numbers. And uh, later on when you actually add the exits, screens that have an exit will be highlighted in blue. So you'll see that a bit later on. So we're gonna make it so that Mario goes down that pipe, does some stuff, and comes up another pipe. So let's get a vertical pipe end on top that's not exit enabled and let's have him come up underneath this bridge here so I'm gonna put that in like that and so he'll just jump up to the bridge except donut bridges can't you can't jump through them so let's replace that with rope because you can jump through a rope there's a rope so we'll use rope all the way across like so okay yeah. So, again, Mario's going to go down here, and he's going to go through some stuff, and he's going to come up the other pipe and be here. Okay. So let's make a section of another level to have Mario go to. So I'm going to click on Open Level Number, and I'm going to Open Level 2.5, which I happen to know is a blank test level. Ta-da! There's a bajillion of these inside the ROM, and you find them pretty much by pressing page up and page down to just scroll through the levels and you know you find all these things so I'm gonna hold control press delete get rid of everything there it goes we'll save and I want to make this part an underground uh, section so I'm gonna go up to the poison mushroom we're gonna change foreground and background index to underground and we'll change sprites to underground too I don't think we'll use them but whatever and you'll see the background looks kind of goofy now. That's okay. Uh, it's basically we're using a uh, tile set that doesn't support these particular tiles. So you can actually edit the background with this green button up here on the toolbar, and it gives you this window here. I don't do that very often. I find it's much easier to click on level and then copy background image, and then you just give it a level number that has the background image that you want. So. I happen to know that level 109 has a uh, underground background, so there you go. Again, this is just from having edited levels and scrolled through them, you, you know it has what. So we're going to add some stuff. We'll say that Mario enters this particular section through a horizontal pipe, uh, like this one. This one will not be exit enabled. And then it'll exit through another one, and that one will be exit enabled, so we'll put that there. Let's add some land, because that's always good to have. Like this. Ooh. Well, I don't like that color, so that's going to have to change. We'll add one of these. Some walls. Make it look sort of like a cave. Uh, let's go tile set specific objects. So there's these four-sided ground diddly bobbers 
That's a technical term. E like this. Maybe one more. I might get a shorter one. And maybe something like that. Another one out there. What else is here? Uh, ceiling, which is really just an upside down ledge, but whatever. Put that there. And you'll notice that some of these corners here look a little odd. And you can fix that. This is actually where map 16 access comes in use, comes in very handy. Um, so if you go down to the map 16 objects and on the second page, you'll see there's stuff uh, here that you can just pluck out and paste in like this and now you'll see I've got some smooth corners there and you can find all sorts of things in here for example this guy you know like that so if I, if instead of making instead of using that I could literally just take this and also take this and then this and you can literally build these things you know piece by piece which sometimes is convenient, sometimes is not. And there's, uh, where is that thing? Is it that one? I think it's that one. Yeah, so you can get some smooth, smooth corners here. I usually do this, this smoothing stuff as opposed to having these blocks here. That's just me. That's my style. This is going to be sort of a bonus room, so let's, you know, put some coins or something. Maybe a Yoshi coin. Yoshi coins are here. Um, right here. There we go. And just for fun, we'll put something in like this. So this will be sort of a bonus if the player is uh, Big Mario or if he's got a power up of some kind, he'll be able to break those blocks and obtain a nice healthy green mushroom. There we go. Okay. And we save. Again, it gives the error message because of that pipe. Okay. I don't like the colors. I don't like the color scheme here. We're going to change that. So, under editors, sorry, under level, we're going to go change palettes and edit colors. So, let's play with this a little bit. Back area color, I don't think it matters here because we're underground, but certain backgrounds yeah, see, nothing happens. Well, certain backgrounds, uh, like sky, like, you know, when you're outdoors, there's a sky, there's like a, a back area, and you can change that. You can actually click on it and make a totally custom color, or use one of the defaults. Foreground palette, well, if I scroll through these, you'll see that the uh, objects change a little bit. Let's put it on this one. It'll make things easier a bit later, you'll see what I mean. Background works the exact same way. If I scroll through these, you'll see all these color changing stuff. We'll leave it on that one for now. Click OK. Um, you probably won't be changing Sprite or Mario palette, so whatever. Now, I don't like this too much either, so just for fun and just to demonstrate what you can do. Under level, I'm going to click Enable Custom Palette. And then under level again, I'm going to do the same change palettes and edit colors dialog box. Now all of these drop boxes are grayed out, but now you can edit these colors in this palettes, uh, you know, window, and those changes will apply just to this level. So we're going to do that. I know that this second row here is going to change the background, and you sort of figure that out through trial and error and through seeing what changes when you do what. Oops. There we go. Now I accidentally changed the one below it. That was that was bad. Now these colors were in a gradient, and I'm gonna do a little shortcut here. I'm gonna hold down the control and alt keys. I'm gonna right click on one color, and then I'm gonna right click on the other color, and Lunar Magic will automatically fill in a gradient for me, which makes things pretty easy to do. And let's do that again for the next row below it, which is a lot of the foreground objects. So we'll do blue, just for the sake of demonstration. Like that. I'm going to use the same trick. Hold Control and, Alt, and hold Alt. Right-click one color, right-click the next color. There you go. 
say OK and save. Yeah. Okay. So that's some other stuff you can do with this level. Um, I'm running out of time in this video, so right right after we get back, I'm going to show you how to make the screen exits and actually make it so Mario can can access this level. So be right back. <laughs> 